Hello, I'm spokesmodel contestant Katie, and welcome to Fishing with Joe. On today's episode, we'll be busting largemouth bass on Woodrum Lake in wild, wonderful West Virginia. Stay tuned because you are gonna love it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, good one. Come on. Oh, came off. Ah, oh, wow. All right. That was a good one. He just came unbuttoned. Today, I am at Woodrum Lake in wild, wonderful West Virginia. Woodrum Lake is a, it's a pretty small lake, uh, less than 300 acres, 10 horsepower limit on the lake, and a catch and release only rule for largemouth bass. It's a phenomenal fishery. A couple of years ago, the lake was uh, accidentally drained and they restocked the lake with bass, reseeded it with ryegrass before, you know, they filled it in and uh, restocked it with bass and uh, bass fishing has taken off pretty good. Um, 50 fish days are common. Right now the fish aren't the biggest in the world but you can catch some that are close to 18 inches. So that's a pretty good fish in my book. Um, the lake has a lot of heavy timber. And so you'll spend a lot of time working baits through that heavy timber. Fish are relatively aggressive. Um, right now, water is not water's a little muddy like a stained collar and that's kind of typical of the some of the smaller lakes in West Virginia but the fishing is just phenomenal you gotta thread the needle on some of these casts Here we go. Came back for it. Mm. These fish really fight. Come on, buddy. All right. All right. And using a floating rappella, be very careful. When that fish starts popping around, you've got all those treble hooks. Yeah, it could get scary. So be extremely careful. There's a nice largemouth bass right there. There's tons of bass just like this in Woodrum Lake. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal fishery. Look at the stomach on that fish. Wow, fat fish. All right, thank you very much, fish. I'll let you go and uh, catch another one. Thank you. All right. All right, that was fun. Now we're gonna have some more fun and catch another one. That fish hit that bait at the last second. I didn't expect that to happen. I was ready to pull the bait up out of the water.
I can't wait to get back to more fishing. But before we do, I wanted to be sure to tell you about fishingwithjoe.com. Joe has t-shirts, show DVDs, and more. Now, let's get back to the action. There we go! Come on now. You're not coming off the end of this one. All right. There we go. All right. Hooked up on another one. On the floating Rapala. Whoa, no you don't. You gotta be careful when you're fishing with a floating Rapala. Lots of hooks. The hooks give you a better chance of hooking up on the fish and uh, greater chance of landing them. That was another nice fish with a fat stomach on him. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you very much. All right. That was fun. That was fun. We'll put some more set on this lure and go back to work we'll catch another one all right okay continuing to work the Work the weeds and work the heavy cover. Hooked up on another good one on the floating Rapala. Another nice size largemouth bass at Woodrum Lake in West Virginia. Beautiful fish. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you very much. There we go. Goodbye. Thank you for watching Fishing with Joe. Be sure to look for our Big Spokes Model Showdown. I and four other talented ladies will be competing in a fishing model showdown for the chance to be your next Fishing with Joe Spokes Model. For more details, visit our website at www.fishingwithjoe.com. Today's episode of Fishing with Joe has been brought to you in part by BigFishTackle.com, the largest fishing community online. Check out FishingWithJoe.com for articles, videos, photos, forums, and more. Joe's site is designed by Jards Enterprises and powered by EasyWeb. Check out EasyWeb for yourself. Professional, it's affordable, changes anytime you want. Call toll free 1 877 My Easy Web or sign on to 1 877 My Easy Web.com. Thanks for watching Fishing with Joe, and I hope to see you again next time.